In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a border around your videos right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you've got some footage on video layer one. We're first going to begin by creating a new black video. So we'll go into the project tab. We'll get onto this button here. That is the new item button. Go to black video and press OK. Next up, we're going to drag the black video onto video layer two, and we'll just extend the duration of this to cover the entire duration of the footage. If I turn this layer off, you can see the footage. If I turn this layer back on, the footage has now disappeared, and that's because we have this black video. So from here, we're just going to select that black video. We'll go into the effects controls tab up here, and then we'll just go under motion and find opacity, and we'll find the free draw bezier tool or the create four point polygon mask tool. Now you can select this tool and that will create this rectangle in the middle of your video. And then all you have to do then is just press inverted. And then you just change these points to wherever you want them to be. So let's just move them up to here. And then we'll just go into mask feather and we'll pull the feathering down to 0%. And if we click off that, you can see we've got this border around the video. Of course, though, that was the technique using the four point polygon mask. If we delete that mask, go over to the free draw bezier tool. We can also draw our own rectangle mask. The good thing is, though, by doing it this way, we're not limited to rectangles. We can do any sort of shape. Of course, though, we do need to invert this black video in order to get the border effect. So we'll go inverted, press inverted. And there you go. We've now got our border effect. Of course, though, the edges of this are soft, so we're going to need to decrease that feather. So we'll pull that down to 0%. And there you go. You've got yourself a slightly different looking border. The same thing applies for this ellipse mask as well. So we'll delete that mask, create a new ellipse mask, and we can change the size of this by using these points here. Select inverted, and now we've got this circle border around our video. Of course, again, pull down the feathering to 0% to create that hard edge. So there you go, that is the border effect now complete. But in order to change the color, we're going to want to go into effects, go into tint, search for tint, drop that onto our black video. In tint, we'll go onto the map black two section, select the black box and pick a color of your choice. So let's change this to a nice blue. Press OK on this. And there you go, you've now got this blue border around your video. Now, of course, our video is filling this screen. So our original footage layer is the size of this composition here. But of course, this hole in this border here is only this small. So we're losing all of this extra footage around the side. So if you wanted to decrease the scale to see everything, just select that footage layer, go into motion scale and pull the scale down to a smaller number. Now I have 5K footage in this composition. So my scale has pulled down to 27. Of course, if you're shooting 1080 footage or editing 1080 footage in Premiere, then that's going to be around the 80 mark. So don't copy these numbers. But there you go. I've scaled that footage down. It now sits within this border and we've got our really awesome border effect now complete inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.